What's up guys, Danny New Year Audio here. In this Pro Tools tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to set up your workspace. Uh, I'm going to go over this uh, area right here real quick. And the way I had it set up right now is, uh, just go over to this uh, tab right here, add, uh, select zoom controls and transport. And that's how I have it basically set up usually. Also you have the MIDI controls, synchronizations, you have the ability to select minimum, the minimum amount, for all, also have expanded. So, zoom controls, this area here is the zoom controls, transport will be the play, record, This can go back to my original setup. That's how I have it usually set up. And also the track list to the left. Clip list to the right. And also universe. This area up here. This area up here will be the universe. And basically what the universe is, is just uh, it's like an aerial view of your uh, Pro Tools work area. So if I had a bunch of tracks here set up, then you'll be able to have an aerial view of all your uh, uh, audio files, and you'll be able to see like the color of the tracks right here. And you also have the ability to uh, scroll up and down using uh, using the universe. So just by in this area, click, hold, move up and down, or left and right, and you'll be able to move around in your work area. Also, the little arrow on the, down here in the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner. You have the ability to open a clip, clip list. So in the left hand corner, you have the ability to open up the track list. Okay. And also, let me see. Let me let me jump over to this area right here, okay? And this is basically the sends, your I.O., your inserts where you're uh, throwing your uh, plugins. And you have the ability to uh, edit that. And right now I have the inserts A to E set up and sends A to E and IO and track color. And that's basically how I have it usually set up. Sometimes I might have the inserts, uh, initial inserts for uh, when I'm mixing. Just adding the F to J, inserts F to J. And that's basically how I usually have it set up. You can have more sends, you know, you can have your instruments if you want. Also, you know do everything. I think that's a little bit too much. And it takes up a lot of room, but you know, if if that's and if that's the way that you like to work then, you know. And most of the things I'm showing you right now is just personal preference. Just how I have it set up. So that's the minimum. And just go back to my my default setup. And that's it right there. Also, uh, you have the ability to have this up, your disk space usage, and your system usage. And basically, uh, actually, you probably saw some in my, uh, on my, if you watched some of my previous videos, you probably noticed I have the system usage up. And basically, this just shows you the, the activity of your computer, like the CPU activity and your hard drive activity. You'll, you'll be able to see how hard it's working. And this the disk usage just tells you you know your hard drive space, what you have, what you use, and what you have, what you have free. Uh, also, you have the ability to mess with your kind of your workspace right here. So you have tile, and this right here is your mix. This is your edit window, mix window, edit window. Also, you have the ability to change it to vertical. I guess this will be a good setup if you're doing a, a dual monitor. And cascade. This is how I have it usually set up. And probably, I think most of the time I see most people working in Pro Tools, they, uh, they work in this, in cascade mode. Okay, let me just go over to uh, this area here. The bars, beats, tempo, markers. And just go over to view and rulers. And you'll see kind of the stuff 
kind of like the t minutes, seconds, time code. This is how you have set up marker, tempo, meter. You know, once in a while, I might throw in a a key signature if I know like the the key of the of the the song I'm working on. You know, I can throw in minutes, have minutes information. Throw in all of it, you know, a bunch of stuff. Time code. I think this, you know, this settles a little bit too much too. It takes a lot of room, and most of the time you probably don't need all this information. That's minimum. I just set this back to a default. Okay, and let me just uh, let's see. I'll show you. Oh, yeah. the big counter. The ability to change the time code, minutes, seconds, samples. Most of the time, I work I work in bar and beats, and once the time, oh, uh, maybe sometimes I might be I might want to switch over to minutes just to see you know how long the song I'm working on. But most of the time, bars and beats. If you're working in like uh, video stuff, then uh, time code. You're, pr you're probably working more in time code. But me, I usually work on music, so I'm usually at bars and beats. Uh, let's see, anything else? Actually, let me go over mix window. Let me go over to mix window real quick. Create a new track. Sorry about that. And in the mix window, just like the edit window, you have the ability to, you know, set up your sends if you want more sends or less sends. This is right now my default setup. I just have the inserts AE, inserts F and J, sends A, A to E, and sends F to J. My delay composition and uh, track color. If you have an older version of Pro Tools, if you have a Pro Tools 8, the regular version, then you probably don't have delay compensation. But if you have the HD, if you have Pro Tools 8 HD, then you probably have the delay compensation. And on Pro Tools 9 up to 10, you'll have the delay compensation. And you have the ability to narrow the mix if you want. There you are, your tracks. And uh, I think that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and uh, comment. Also, remember to uh, subscribe, like if you enjoy my videos. And this is Danny Audio signing out.